Hi class, here's our video lesson on 6-3, similar triangles. 6-2 talked about similar polygons. So now we're getting even more specific and we're only dealing with one shape and that shape is the triangle. Now last chapter we talked about congruent triangles and there was five different methods for congruent triangles. Side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and hypotenuse leg. Very similarly, we don't need to prove that all three angles are congruent and all three sides are proportional to prove similarity. We can use these shortcuts. One such shortcut is the angle-angle similarity postulate. So it says if two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles in another triangle, then the two triangles are similar, which means their angles are congruent and their sides are proportional. The second one is the side-side-side similarity theorem where if the measures of the corresponding sides of the two triangles are proportional, so again, it's not if the sides are congruent, it's if the sides equal the same fraction, if their ratios equal the same fraction. If they're proportional, then the triangles are similar. And the third one is side, angle, side. So if the measures of two corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional, and the included angle, so this is an important word right here, the included angle, the one in between those two sides, if that angle is congruent from one triangle to the next, then the triangles are similar. So there's only three of them, angle, angle, side, 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 and side, angle, side. So if we look at this one, are these two triangles similar? Well, we're going to test using side, 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 angle, angle, and side, angle, side. So here, we have two angles in both the triangles, and the two angles have to be congruent. So right now, at first glance, it's like, well, the 89 is congruent, but this one is 52, and this one is 39. So they are not congruent. So right now, it looks like it would be a no. However, we could find the third angle of a triangle just by subtracting from 180. So 180 degrees minus 89 and minus 52, we end up getting 39 degrees. So this angle is 39. And in the same way in the triangle on the right here, we can take 180 and subtract 89 and subtract 39, and we would get 52 degrees. So we do have a 52 degree angle in both triangles and a 39 degree angle in both triangles. This one is, these two triangles are similar, and they are similar by the angle-angle similarity postulate. So are these two triangles similar? Yes. How come? Because of angle-angle. Two angles from one triangle are congruent to two angles in another triangle. Are these two triangles similar? Well, again, we would test by angle-angle, side-side-side, and side-angle-side. So this one, we do have all three sides of both triangles. We don't have anything about the angle, so we can't use angle, angle, or side, angle, side. So it's not automatic that it's um, similar. We have to see if the sides are proportional. So 6 and its corresponding side, 2. 6 over 2 is 1 ratio. 9 corresponds with 3. That's another ratio. 9 corresponds with 3. And then 12 corresponds with 4. 12 corresponds to 4. If all of these fractions equal the same number, then it's yes by side, side, side. 6 over 2 is 3. 9 over 3 is 3. 12 over 4 is 3. So yes, these two triangles are similar because the sides are proportional. It's by side, side, side. Let's test this one. Are these two triangles similar? Well, again, the three are side, 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 angle, angle, and side, angle, side. I hope it's kind of clear to see here that we would test this by side, angle, side, because we have the included angle that's congruent, 85 and 85, that's that included angle. Let's see now if the sides are proportional. 12 corresponds to 6. And 15 corresponds to 7 and a half. Do these two fractions equal the same number? 2 over 1 and 2 over 1. 
Yes, the sides are proportional. So these two triangles are similar, yes, because of side, angle, side. Last one of this kind, are these two triangles similar? Well, we got a test by angle, angle, side, 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 or side, angle, side. We have this angle right here, which is 75 degrees, and that's congruent to this one that's 75. But in both triangles, we don't know another angle, so we can't do angle, angle. We know two sides, 18 and 24, with the triangle on the left, and two sides, 6 and 8, with the triangle on the right. But to do side, 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 you have to know all three sides. So we can't do that one. So now we're kind of thinking it's side, angle, side. However, in order for it to be side, angle, side, the angle has to be the included angle between the two sides. So if the 24 was right here, then it would possibly be side, angle, side. And in the same way if 8 was over here, because then 75 would be the included angle. However, that's not where 24 is, and this is not where 8 is. So there is no congruence theorem for side, side, angle. Or, of course, the other way around, angle, side, side. There is no congruence theorem that says that, or similarity theorem that says that. So we cannot prove that these two are, con are similar. We would write the answer no. OK, so now we have two questions where we're going to solve some problems involving similar triangles. Um, we have this red triangle on the left. And we have this green triangle on the right. Now in order to solve for x, we would have to know that the triangles are similar. And how do we know that the triangles are similar? Well, vertical angles are congruent. So I know that this angle is congruent to this one because of vertical angles. And now these arrows right here mean that the lines are parallel. So then we have alternate interior angles are congruent here and here. And alternate interior angles are congruent here and here, using this as the transversal or using this as the transversal. So being that we know all this now, we can say that the red triangle and the green triangle are similar because of angle-angle similarity. So now I could set up a proportion and solve for x. I could say 10 corresponds to, let's see, 10 is in between the double arc and the triple arc, and 4 is in between the double arc and the triple arc. So 10 and 4 are corresponding sides. And then this 2x plus 10, its cor corresponding part, it, 2x plus 10 is in between the 1 arc and the 2 arcs. It corresponds then to x plus 3, x plus 3. Notice how I, I want you to be very careful. In the numerator, we have the red triangle, 10, and the red triangle, 10x plus 10. 2x plus 10. You have to be very consistent with that. In the denominator, we have the green triangle parts of 4 and x plus 3. So it's red triangle over green triangle equals red triangle over green triangle. You have to be very consistent with those parts. OK, now that we know that, let's solve this proportion. So we're going to cross multiply to solve for x. So we have 10 times x plus 3, and that equals 4 times 2x plus 10. Distributed property, 10x plus 30, that equals 8x plus 40. We continue solving. We subtract 8x from both sides, subtract 30 from both sides, and we have 2x equals 10. So that means x equals 5. And there is our answer, x equals 5. It does just say find x, so we're done. Of course, if we wanted to find the length of this segment, for example, right here, we would take 2 times 5 plus 10. Or if we wanted to find this segment right here, of course, we would take 5 plus 3. Last one for the day, kind of a real world problem. Jim, of course, he wanted to find out how tall a building was. Don't we all want to know how tall buildings are? So one afternoon, Jim and Sally measured the shadow of the building. 
So you can do that, right? You put your tape measure at the base of the building, and then you measure as far out as the shadow is. And here's the shadow of the building. And they said that the shadow of that building was 55 feet. Jim, he's six feet tall, and the measure of his shadow is four feet. So here's Jim right here. Everyone say hi to Jim. He is six feet tall, and his shadow that he casts is a four-foot shadow. So what we have here, basically, class, is we have a triangle when we combine a horizontal and a vertical um, distance, or a horizontal length and a vertical length. We can make a triangle. Same thing here. Hopefully the building is vertical. Usually buildings are meant to be built straight up and down. And then the ground, we'll assume, is horizontal. So what we have here is this angle is 90, and this angle is 90. And you'll learn this in a few lessons here, but it's called the angle of elevation, or the angle that the sun is in the sky. If you measure their shadow at the same time of day, this angle will be congruent to this angle. So these are similar triangles by the angle-angle similarity postulate. So if we want to find out how tall the building is, x, we can say that the height of the person, Jim, is 6, corresponds to the height of the building, x, and that equals the length of the shadow, 4, that corresponds to the length of the shadow, 55. So we have, again, you know, the, the person over the building equals the person's shadow over the building shadow. So be very consistent with how you set up your proportions. Cross multiply this sucker and let's find out how tall that building is. 4 times x is 4x. 55 times 6 is 330. Divide both sides by 4. And this building, friends, is 82.5 feet. 82.5 feet. It'd be good to, after you answer your question here, to have a little bit of mental math. Notice how Jim's shadow is four feet. It's, it's less than his height. His height is six feet. So if his height is greater than his shadow, then the building's height had better be greater than the building's shadow. So whatever your answer is, it should at least be bigger than 55 feet. And as you can see, it is. Very interesting stuff. Let me know if you have any questions when you get to class tomorrow on similar triangles.